14 minutes after the hour, y'all. Hey, listen. Uh, as we're, you know, we are celebrating Mother's Day this weekend, man. Uh, we want to shout out to all the mothers out there that work hard and put it all on the line. Shout out to all the mothers out there that had to do it by yourself and just great mothers and great mentors. Uh, whether you was a mother, a aunt, a principal, a cousin, a sister, and you just had to be a mother to the motherless. Uh, shout out to you, man. I want to do a real special shout out this morning to everybody that's driving in their car right now that have to uh, go through this whole Mother's Day weekend without your mother. I want you to know personally, I don't know what it feels like because I have a living, beautiful, awesome mother. But I just want to let you know that um, my heart is with you. Uh, we are praying for you. We are praying for your family. I don't care if you just recently lost your mother, if it was 10 years ago or 20 years ago, because from what I understand, y'all say it feels like it was your mother was here just yesterday. And you got to watch all these people celebrate Mother's Day. And you sit in the back of that church with a broken heart watching people get flowers and sit with their mothers on Mother's Day. And you don't have yours. I Man, I want, to, want you to know that the God that we serve is awesome. The God that we serve is, is wonderful. And he would be a mother for the motherless just like he's a father for the fatherless. And we want you to know this morning to be encouraged and that we're thinking about you and that we're praying for you and that we have not forgot about you. Because I wouldn't dare come on this radio and do a whole hoopla about Mother's Day and I have a living mother and half of y'all don't have your mothers with you and you feel a certain kind of way. And I definitely could not imagine how you went, how, uh, what you've been dealing with and what you're going through. And I'm just excited to go down here and see a little girl who lost her mother in the eighth grade walk across that stage this morning at Alabama State University. And I watched this little girl, Genesis Smith, comfort her grandmother when her mother died in the eighth grade. And now she's graduating college this morning on Mother's Day weekend. Her mother can't even be here. So we got to stand, I had to stand in the gap for her with a wonderful grandmother that was kind enough to share her with us. So our hearts go out to you. I want you to personally know that I love you, that I'm thinking about you. And God bless you, and we love you, and God love you even more. So, happy Mother's Day weekend, and if you don't have your mother, go and find uh, uh, a mother and a mother figure and somebody to hug and love on you this weekend, because you are so worthy. Uh, and we just want you to know that we love you and we're thinking about you. More Ricky Smiley Morning Show coming up next. And now, you know, do you ever find yourself repeating some of the things that your mother or grandmother used to say uh, to you when you were growing up? Call us up right now at 866-9-RICKY and tell us the crazy, corny, or cool things that Mama uh, used to say on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Hit us up right now, 866-9-RICKY. Ricky Smiley Morning Show.